Hello and welcome to the video where I'll show you how to set up and join a Zoom meeting using these two iPhones. In my previous video, I showed you how to install the app and create an account. We need an account to host the meeting. So the phone on the left will be the phone I'll use to host the meeting. I'm going to sign into that now. So I come along here to the app and click sign in. It has my email address there, I click on password, and I'm going to just paste that in and sign in. Okay, we are now at the main screen. Um, along the bottom, we have different tabs which will change what's displayed. We are currently in the meet and chat. If we go to meetings, we can start and send an invitation from here. We'll come back to that. We also have contacts where you can add contacts if you so wish, and we have settings. Let's have a quick look in the meeting settings and make sure we are where we want to be at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. We have auto connect to audio. I have that set to use internet. Um, it's, it just saves a step when the meeting starts and you'll see that shortly. Um, you can set to set this to always mute my microphone, which I have set and always turn off my video. I just like those off personally, just so when I'm in the meeting, I can then enable them. Um, you have a couple of other options here. I'll just whistle through, um, always show video preview, which just gives you a type of selfie view so you can see how you'll look before joining. Auto copy meeting link, uh, show non-video participants, show name, always show meeting controls. I have this off at the moment and you'll see that it's probably a good idea to have that turned on. It just helps, I'll show you that shortly. You can have synced calendars, meeting reminder, closed captioning, original sound, show my connected time, that will tell you how long you're connected to this meeting for, safe driving mode, which I'll demonstrate, and a couple of more options just there. So once we've gone through those and you're happy with your choices, uh, what we can do is just go to meetings and we can start immediately, or if you haven't already, send an invitation. Press send invitation and you have an option to send a message. It creates a message with the connection details and you can pay, put a name in here and send that off. Um, an alternative is to send an invitation, copy it to clipboard, and you can then paste that into an email and send that off or a different messaging program. Um, I will just paste it into notes so you can just see what it looks like. Okay, and it just uh, is an invitation. It has the web link and it also has the meeting ID and password, which you can use if you're using the app. So that is how that is done. Great, going back to the app. We are now ready, we've sent out our invitation. So let's start the meeting. We click start. And there we have it. We have now officially started the meeting. If we tap the screen, we get the meeting controls come up. Um, let's just quickly run around these. The top left, if you press that button, it will stop all of the sound coming out. You have the personal meeting ID at the top here and you have the password for the meeting, which you can give out. It was in that message earlier. You can click end. Down in the bottom left, you can unmute yourself. You can start your video. You can share some content. You can see who's in the meeting, participants, and you have some more settings here. So I'm going to actually just go into more settings because as you can see, the meeting controls keep disappearing and I'm having to keep tapping, tapping on the screen. So we click on the, uh, more button and into meeting settings. And you can see there are some other options here. I have waiting room enabled. This, uh, when someone joins the meeting, they go into a waiting room first, then I will let them in. Um, you can allow participants to share screen, chat, rename themselves as they go in. You can uh, change some of the host controls here. You can mute people on entry. You can play a chime for when people enter. It's like a doorbell, let's turn that on. And we come down to general and it says always show meeting controls. I'm just gonna turn that on. A um, Couple of other options here just for, for name. So let's just say done. And you can see the meeting controls are static now. That's so much easier. Right, okay, so we've set up our meeting. We've got our settings right. Oh, one more thing. Let's just change the camera. Let's turn the camera on. Okay, there is the camera. It's facing Superman. Welcome to the meeting. What I did there is I pressed this button, which just switched the camera to the rear facing camera. It does automatically start facing yourself, but just for this meeting, I'm including Superman. Okay, so let's let's join this meeting. 
Uh, what we want to do is click on join meeting on the other phone and I'm going to enter the meeting ID which is just here and may well have been sent to me in advance. Let's pop that in, 394-8878. Um, below that it says iPhone. I can change that and put my name in there or any name I want to use to represent myself. Um, what I haven't selected is don't connect to audio. On this one, on the host, I said connect using internet audio or internet, internet sound um, and it was a smooth connection. Let's just do the opposite here so you can see what happens. So I'll just click join. It's going to ask for the password. And I'm just entering that now. The password is just underneath the personal meeting ID there. I'll click continue. And you heard that bell. That's me. Um, or in fact, Lionel Richie just asking to join the meeting. So we're going to admit that person. You heard a little sound. We'll give it a moment here. And voila, we are in the meeting. Now, if you have a look down to the bottom left, you'll see here it says join audio. So although that looks, you know, it's got a green arrow, we aren't actually joined with sound on this phone. So this, this throws a lot of people out. Um, so what we're gonna do is just press join audio. And this is the call using internet audio. Great, we are now connected for sound, currently muted. We can unmute when we're ready. Same controls as the host. Um, let's start the video. Okay, and we now have Lionel Ritchie in the meeting. Welcome. Um, again, we can come along to participants and we can see who's in the meeting. And we have uh, chat, meeting settings, virtual background, raise hand, disconnect, and cancel. Um, if we want to change the video, so you may want to see yourself in the main picture, or you may want to see the other person in the main picture. Choice is entirely yours. One other thing I want to show you is the swiping to the right. And this is safe driving mode. And what this does is it mutes your microphone and it stops your video. So if you have to run away quickly or do something, speak to someone else, just swipe to the right. When you swipe back, you come back to the meeting, start your video, but you stay muted and you can unmute yourself when you're ready. So that's really quick if you have to run around. So those are the main controls. There are of course more. However, I think that covers the, uh, the meat of it really. So I hope you found this useful and you have a great meeting. If you have, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Just lets me know it's working. Big thank you for choosing my, my video. If I can get my words out. Thank you to Lionel. Thank you to Superman. And I wish you a great day ahead.